Hello students and welcome to short answers classes. This is yet another problem on sequences we'll be solving in a quirky way and we have solved another problem on sequences in a different way and if you haven't checked that out I suggest you go check that out because that will provide the base for this advanced problem. Okay, so if you have any doubts you can call or whatsapp us on 9837930076 and if you want to check out other cool content, head over to our website at www.sourceclasses.com. Okay, so let's get ready for this problem. This will be a little tricky, but we'll try to solve it. We'll try to solve it. Okay. Examine the convergence. Examine the convergence of the sequence of the sequence fn where fn is equal to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus dot 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 plus 1 by n factorial so is this convergent can we prove convergence by any other way? So, in any case, can we prove this by the epsilon definition? Maybe we can, maybe we can't. But we know for sure that we can prove this by Cauchy's uh, criteria. Cauchy criteria. So, how do we go about doing this? Since we do not want to get our hands dirty into the epsilon definition, of course we can, but it will be very complicated and it will be really very lengthy according to my opinion. In any case, so we will be solving this by Cauchy's criteria. So let's begin. Okay. Here, we assume, we assume n is greater than or equal to m. Okay, so we have, we have Fn minus Fm is equal to modulus 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus dot 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 plus 1 by m factorial plus 1 by m plus 1 factorial plus 1 by m plus 2 factorial plus dot 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 plus 1 by n factorial okay so and this from this we take away 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus dot 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 plus 1 by m factorial since this is the condition this is the condition for cauchiness So, we have, what we have left is, we have, this is equal to 1 by m plus 1 factorial plus 1 by m plus 2 factorial plus dot 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 plus 1 by n factorial. And from here, we have, this is less than 1 by 2 to the power m plus 1 by 2 to the power m plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 1 by 2 to the power n as n factorial is greater than or equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. This is a standard inequality for all uh, n belongs to the set of natural numbers. Okay. So, this is eventually equal to okay so what we can do we can take 1 by 2 to the power m common and we have 1 plus half plus 1 by 2 squared plus dot 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 plus plus 1 by 2 to the power n minus m plus 1 and as you can see this forms a gp this is a GP. So the sum of the GP as we can see is 1 by 2 to the power m 
into 1 minus half to the power n minus m divided by 1 minus half and this will give us about let's see 1 by 2 to the power m minus 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 and this is less than equal to 1 by 2 to the power m minus 1 okay and I'll just show you why this is because n greater than equal to m implies n minus 1 is greater than equal to m minus 1 and this implies that 2 to the power n minus 1 is greater than equal to 2 to the power m minus 1 and this implies 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 is less than equal to 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1. Okay, so now we come back to the definition of the Cauchy criteria and we have hence for epsilon greater than 0 f n minus f m is less than epsilon if 1 by 2 to the power m minus 1 is less than epsilon or by manipulation 2 to the power m minus 1 is greater than 1 by epsilon okay so now 2 to the power m minus 1 is greater than is greater than uh, 1 by epsilon and this implies that m minus 1 log 2 is greater than log 1 by epsilon. And from here we can see that m is greater than 1 plus log 1 by epsilon into log 2 this inverse and so we have fixed our m so once we have fixed our m as here so we can write hence for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists and m belongs to the natural numbers such that such that Cauchy criterion Fn minus Fm is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m where this let this be 1 m is given by 1 ok hence hence F n is Cauchy and so by Cauchy criteria criteria we can say if n converges This is how we prove convergence of this sequence. Thank you for watching this video. So we'll be back with more such sums and more such concepts in our next videos. So please stay tuned.